My name's Andy, I'm the producer of The Grand Tour, and now that Series 3 is underway, we thought, why don't you come and see what happens in the edit, which is the place where we put all the films together. So, um, fifth floor of our edit suite house in London, and all these rooms, there's a door there, there's another door there, they go on forever, these are all the edit suites. And when we're up and running full, we're running six at any one time, six editors cutting stuff. So, yeah, like I said, they go down. Don't look at that. That's, um... Well, OK, so we drink a lot of coffee. We've got nice coffee. We spend a bit of money on coffee. So I said to one of the editors, put a notice on telling other people not to politely, you know, leave our coffee alone. So let's call that work in progress. The thing about editors is they're not nice people. I think they struggle socially. They're like driving examiners. Have you ever met anyone who's friends with a driving examiner? They sit in these rooms all day and they're just like hermits. But that means they're here, so we can go and meet some of them. Right, come in. This is... Hang on, I'll get the door so we can all walk in with our cameras. There we go. Right, this is Dan and this is Phil. Phil's our sort of main director. So Phil and Dan have been with us since the Top Gear days of 2000 and God knows what. So he's our oldest and most experienced and longest serving um, editor. Don't expect a hello from him. You know what I told you out there. You're not going to get one. And um, he's a bit institutionalised and he's been with us a while. So he gets a bit wrapped up. He's been working on the power slide. Yes. So I need what? to see that, because that's for the BMW test. Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Alpina been, and... He's been working on it, M5. so... M5. Right, let's have a look. I don't know if the corner's that long, to be honest with you. I think we'd have a bit out of that. Adam's our youngest, um, so we give him all the kind of more juvenile stuff to do. What you been working on, mate? Uh, I've been working on an explosion that explosions. you wanted. Explosions. Yeah. Let's watch. Yeah, let's see what we're doing. <laughs> I think that's a bit long, if I'm honest. Oh, I'm still going. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's a cracking first effort. What else can we show you in here? Uh, the Caucasus Drive from the uh, Azerbaijan uh, film. Yeah. Oh, now, this is one that Phil shot. Now, this is a big three-header. What's this? Tell us about this, Phil. Yeah, so just doing up the uh, sum-up sequence um, and it's mountain roads, the three cars, so just looking at all the ups and pass shots and the drone shots. So that's Jeremy in the DBS. Thank God for drones. I mean, I know they don't like them at Gatwick, but we mm. love them. Richard in the new Bentley. Yeah. Uh, where's James's car? Let's have a look at James. There we go, new 8 series. So they're looking a bit battle-weary there. So this is towards the end of the trip. Oh, God, James's BMW. Show us that BMW from that local, the local guy that was driving one, who came and joined the party. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. So the climax of the film is... Um, you know, the big Formula One straight. It's got one of the longest straights in Formula One. And um, the very lovely people in Baku shut that straight off for us in a sort of normal working day, not when there's a Grand Prix on, normal working day, so that we could do our own drag race with the car. So I'm not going to show you that because that would be giving the results away. But let's just have a look at the shots. There, look at it. Ooh. 
Okay. So that, all that we, we've got mm. to ourselves. Yes. So 200 people. Crazy. There's a cars, there's a cars. Right, so that's the GT's film. So the rushes come in from when you guys have shot them. First thing that happens is breaking it down. So that is Dan uh, or any other editor will go through everything the guys say in car, on the in car cameras, and just get it down to the bits that we need. And that, ta uh, Dan, how long does that take? That's the Something like this. Two weeks. Two weeks. Once all the words are in order, transcripts, these, these are transcripts. So these are like everything they say in car. Now, this is actually a good point, because that is, people say, oh, your show scripted, oh, your show scripted. I'll put all the transcripts, hang on, let's do it here. I'm gonna put, so that's some films, another film, Vegas, RVs, that's another film, mm -hmm. Columbia, I am not joking, and there we go. That is everything they say in car for this series. The gobby motherfuckers. How many hours is it to get one hour of TV then? Uh, it's two. Our shoot ratio is about 250 to one. Yeah. yeah. So 250 hours of stuff to put one hour on the telly. All right, Alfie. Do you like Matt LeBlanc? Yes. Now, because he's got a propensity for uh, the juvenile stuff, We've just done this big film, um, another special actually, there's a lot of specials in this series, where they go to Nevada and they buy cheap RVs and do them up, you know, that classic build style like we do, um, and end up at a demolition derby. So we'll just show you a bit of that. It's Hammond. That's good, that is, mate. Okay, I'll leave you to do the rest of that.